Hi, my name is Kent Campbell. Welcome to eHow. I'm going to talk about how to make a minimalist site less boring. One of the problems with minimalist sites in a lot of people's eyes is it's all white space and there's nothing to look at. The reason that people choose a minimalist site is really not so much to have the white space as to get people to focus on specific design elements. And two of the best design elements you can use to make your minimalist site less boring uh, is to use great photography and also to use typography and scale together. Let's take a look at an example that I think everyone knows about, Apple.com. This is a minimalist site. If you take a look, you can see for the new MacBook Pro with Retina display, you're going to see a very large, very beautiful image. You're also going to see different sizes of type and of course the ubiquitous white space that goes, that goes throughout. So here we are at Apple.com. You can see that it has very simple navigation at the top. It has a lot of white space. It has a, uh, a large, very beautiful image, and it has different sizes of, of fonts, saying the MacBook Pro, the Retina Display, etc. That's a good example. Let's take a look at Herman Miller. They make wonderful furniture. In fact, I think I'm sitting in one of their chairs right now, the Aeron chair. You'll see this is a minimalist site. You can again see the white space that's there, but it's not all white space. They're using that space as a frame to get people to look at very specific design elements. Remember, the difference between a minimalist site and maybe a, a non-minimalist site is there's a lot less going on in a minimalist site, so you can focus better. Here's an example called the deck. And you can see this has a lot of text on it and very few images. So you don't need to have images. You can do it with scaled typography as well. Chama Inc. is another example. Here, this is mostly text, but they've used three different fonts here, and they've done it in a very nice way by including these are actually images. They're not actual fonts from the browser. They've used one image in the upper left corner. Fusco is a wonderful company. They do a lot of uh, minimalist sites. You can see here that they've been featured in Dwell Magazine and a number of other places, and that's because they're good. So you do well to watch what they're doing. They use a lot of imagery in their site uh, and very little text. This I would still consider a minimalist site to an extent. You can uh, go through this. You can take a look at what the work that they do. The navigation is very clean and clear in the upper right hand corner. There's not that much text. You have to remember, on the web, generally speaking, people don't like to read a lot. They tend to scan text. Okay? So images really do speak uh, louder than words. Anyway, this has been Kent Campbell showing you how to take a minimalist site and make it less uh, boring. Thanks for watching.